Hello, this is Mark Wildman of Wildman Athletica, and today we are going to talk about the most feared exercise, the kettlebell thruster. The kettlebell thruster is a mean exercise. Not gonna lie, it is generally terrible, no matter what your level of athletic conditioning. The kettlebell thruster goes in the family with barbell thruster, with med ball thruster, with slam ball thruster. It is a squat combined with an overhead press. In order to be good at this exercise, you have to be good at your single-sided kettlebell front squat and your standing overhead press and your push press. To do the thruster, step back from the belt 12 to 18 inches, thumb points towards the sky, thumb points down. The L of our hand goes to the corner of the kettlebell, hike the weight back, bring it up to rack position. The better your rack position is and the deeper your squat, the easier the thruster is. Get down as low as you can in your squat. Lean back against your weight. Make your spine vertical, eyes out in the distance. Arm out to the side. Stand up, add the press at the top. Bring the weight down to shoulder height. Squat, one smooth movement on the way up. Lock all the way out, squeeze the tricep. Bring the weight down. This is where you're gonna wanna rest. Because you're standing, it's easy to breathe. If you try to rest at the bottom, it gets really hard because all of your joints are flexed. That makes it hard for blood to move around. Stand up, lock out, bring the weight down. When you're really going fast, it'll be one smooth move up and one smooth move down. One smooth move up, one smooth move down. Smooth up, smooth down, smooth up, smooth down to set down the weight. Point your thumb back and set it down 12 to 18 inches in front of you. The kettlebell thruster is widely regarded as being super mean exercise. All of the flexion at the bottom restricts how your blood moves. And then when you explode to the top, everything opens. The more you are kinking and unkinking your blood vessels. This causes your heart rate to go crazy. This is a super high heart rate activity. The better the depth of your squat, the better your thruster can be. If your elbow is down low and your spine is rounded, this is gonna get really hard. Elbow to that point, directly on the inside of the knee. Try to put your arm out to the side. It helps people not tip from side to side. Eyes, look out in the distance. If you look down, you tend to go down. If you look up, you crane your neck and you do weird things to your spine. Eyes straight ahead, so that when you stand all the way up to lock out, you're trying to keep your spine as vertical as possible. This exercise can be done in a ton of different ways. Start with a light weight, work on your squat depth. You can do it as a time under tension exercise for say 30, 60, or 90 seconds. 90 seconds is crazy and super hard because your body has to endure that entire time. The way that I see it used a lot is as a strength training exercise. Heavy kettlebell, do sets of three and three, take a break, do sets of three and three, take a break, do sets of three and three. Turn it into strength training. Work on explosive speed on the way up and work on control on the way down. CrossFit uses this exercise a lot and they will use it as a high rep activity with lots of reps. It is super, super difficult. Make sure your technique is good, your overhead lockout is good, and you stand all the way up to make your life even manageable. 